Hey guys, I'm Brian Ozone. Thanks for tuning in and watching. And uh, so it's been a week or so. I've really been feeling under the weather. So uh, I'm back. So I got a couple of a couple of things to say. Uh, it seems like Disney is going to start removing all of the sequel characters like Rey, Kylo Ren, the Stormtroopers, Chewbacca, and moving into more of the Mandalorian characters. Even Luke Skywalker, thank God. So, uh, it, they didn't say exactly, exactly when, but I'm sure the transition is planned already um they may modify things if they're going for the mando look um you know it's maybe stuff from the show itself they may start including in places um i mean i'd much rather see mando than see ray <laughs> to tell you the truth if i ever get to get down there um also, it seems that we're going to have a reunion between Robert Downey Jr. and John Favreau. Robert Downey Jr. seems to be coming to one of Disney Plus Star Wars shows. I've learned he will be playing Grand Admiral Thrawn. Now, picture him as the Thrawn that was in Rebels. You think he can pull off that demeanor? I think he's got the swag. I think, you know, with his Tony Stark uh, attitude, I think he would bring a new and better vibe to Grand Throne Admiral, Admiral Throne, sorry. Uh, a big salary and a long time contract is rumored to be involved so it could be let's let's call it the mandoverse um most of these shows are spin-offs from the mandalorian now we know that guru's gone and i would bet the farm like uh, Pele Pe Pe would say, uh, up at the fort, um, Mando is going to Mandalore and is going to help fight. Uh, now that he has the Darksaber, he is the one that is to sit on the throne. So this is going to be, and he's going to have to learn all this. So it's, it, it, they left it off with a good cliffhanger. Because he had no idea what the dark saber was, how to get it, how to obtain it, how to fight for it. Um, so he's going down a new road that he's never known even existed for Mandalorians. So this should be cool. And one more thing, I mean, with Robert Downey Jr. coming to play Grant. Admiral Thrawn. Him and Jon Favreau have worked together since Iron Man for years. So they kind of know what each other can do. They know how far they can push each other. You know, the limitations and stuff. So I think it's a great idea that this is happening. Um, and like I said, the Mandoverse is going to be great across the chart. I mean, we even have Luke Skywalker in it now. I mean, that's just mind-boggling. But it's also something that we needed. We needed this since Jedi. Um, I watched Empire of Dreams yesterday. And Mark Hamill in an interview he even said after Jedi was over he would have liked to see what Luke Skywalker's adventures would have been after Return of the Jedi 
where it would have taken him, what he would have done, how he would have acted, reacted. I mean, there's so much. Um, there's also a rumor now, since Luke Skywalker has been on The Mandalorian, and it's been absolutely nothing but great feedback, he may be getting his own show as well. Something in the range of Skywalker and the New Jedi Temple, or you know, somewhere in that, in that, uh, something to do with that. So maybe that's what we're going to see Gogoro in that show as well. He's we're going to we're, we're going to see him teach Gogoro how to be a Jedi, or how to become a Yoda. Who knows? I do not know. Um, you never know. You know. Um, so, uh, you know, they, um, they announced uh, the other day the dates of when everything's coming out. It seems like we're going to be getting a lot of coming out this year later on. Uh, the Book of Boba Fett, I'm really looking forward. I'm looking forward to all of them, actually. I mean, even Lando, I'm looking forward to. Um, Paul Betty, uh, Betty, Betty, Betty. He he's the guy who played Vision and also Dryden Voss in the solo movie. He said he would come back um, to play Dryden Voss again. Uh, and remember, in Solo, Kira and L Lando did have a conversation about him squaring a deal off with Dryden. A, and Crimson, uh, you know, so, you know, we may see what that was. Who knows? Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that we don't know, but uh, I hope we do get to see it. So, guys, thanks again. I'm Brian Ozone. This is my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. I also have a Facebook page called star wars everything and anything it's a buy sell trade discussion group where you can discuss buy sell trade everything and anything that's why it's called that so please go over there and join please tell your friends and family star wars fans to subscribe to my channel because it's all about star wars so again thanks for watching and um tune in next time until then guys may the force be with you